Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land and in the great United States of America. I would like to make this video to try and correct some very incorrect uh, attributes or attributions to Thomas Jefferson. Uh, one uh, attribution is one that says, if the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around them will deprive them of all property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. I believe banking institutions are more dangerous to our liberties than standing armies. The issuing of power should be taken from the banks and restored to the people to whom it properly belongs. Okay. So this, this uh, attribution to Thomas Jefferson is false. There are some true parts to it, but it is mostly false. And the part that really bothers me is that um, you have a bunch of people, including Alex Jones, uh, putting this into uh, videos and movies, claiming that this is... Uh, the words of Thomas Jefferson. Now, the actual words of uh, Thomas Jefferson come in a letter. Now, this is where part of this is true. They come in a letter to John Taylor, um, May 28, 1816. And you can go look this up. And he's writing a letter uh, to uh, John Taylor um, and basically, he's talking about John Taylor's uh, inquiry into the principles of our government, um, a paper that he wrote. And he, he is responding to John Taylor and letting him know what his thoughts are. Now, if we go further on, you know, you go several pages down into his letter, he is starting uh, on this view um, of the import of the term republic, instead of saying, as has been said, that it may mean anything or nothing, we may say with truth and meaning that governments are more or less republican, as they have more or less of the same of the element of popular election and control in their composition. And believing, as I do, that the mass of the citizens is the safest depository of their own rights, and especially that the evils flowing from the decrees of the people are less injurious than those from the egoism of their agents. I am a friend to that composition of government, which has in the most of its of this ingredient. Okay, he goes. Then this is why I read this part because he goes. And I sincerely believe with you. So he's agreeing um, with Thomas that banking establishments are more dangerous than standing armies. So this is actually not even his own original uh, belief uh, that really this is um, a belief that he is sharing or he is agreeing with uh, the man that he's written the letter to, uh, John Taylor. I said their name wrong before, but he's agreeing with John Taylor. So this is actually uh, a belief or a statement that John Taylor made that standing armies, uh, basically that that uh, banking establishments are more dangerous than standing armies, and that the principle of spending money to be paid by posterity under the name of funding is but swindling futurity on large scale, on a large scale. Okay, so. Uh, this is important for us to recognize that Thomas Jefferson did believe that banking establishments are, were more dangerous and are more dangerous than standing armies. I also agree with this. He went on and the, he said that the principle of spending money to be paid by posterity, meaning spending money now that will be paid by our, us for uh, perpetuity, I mean, forever and ever, and uh, paid by our children and our children's children is um, under the name of funding, whatever you're funding, it doesn't matter, is but swindling futurity on a large scale. Okay, so basically, he's talking about it as a criminal activity, that spending this money 
and then making us pay for it for long, long, long periods of time, making our children and our children's children and so on and so forth pay for it, was a criminal activity. Now, I don't understand what kind of idiot researchers Alex Jones has, but they ha are um, they are bad. Look, Alex, I respect what you're trying to do. I believe that you hit on many real good points, and you need to have researchers who are going to do their job and find out what are the real quotes from Thomas Jefferson, or James Madison, or Alexander Hamilton, or John Adams, and so on and so forth. If you're going to quote our founding fathers, get it right. Now, it's not your fault as you are. It is your fault, but it's not. I mean, you didn't do the research, most likely, because you have people doing that for you. But the morons who did the research for you, well, they're morons, and you need to fire them. You need to get some people to do the research for you, because there are some good quotes in here that could just as easily support your support your claims that our forefathers really understood that banks and the banking establishment is evil okay and that those people who manipulate uh, our tax codes or all of this other um, you know manipulate us to have to pay for their uh, you know secret societies and so on and so forth all of this stuff can be uh, attributed in proper form to our forefathers having warned us about the dangers of all of these things happening. But when you misquote, when you quote something that has already been disproven, you can easily Google it and find out. You, if you Google it, you can go to the Thomas Jefferson Encyclopedia and find out it's not true. And if that does not provide enough proof for you, well then you can go to the um, Let's see here, what is it? Uh, I'm going to go to the top here. Online Library of Liberty, a project of Liberty Fund, Incorporated. Okay, The entire works of Thomas Jefferson are on this online library, and you can download them all, and then you can search through them for the specific terms like bank or banking that you want to look up that, say, for instance, Thomas Jefferson said or that uh, John Adams said or that anybody else that they have on this online library. Now, they don't have everybody, but they're working on putting up as much of our um, history and about liberty especially as um, they can. And you can go to this library and find out the information that you need. You do not need to rely on spurious and illegitimate quotes. So this message is to Alex Jones uh, about your movie, The uh, Obama Deception, and one of the quotes that you have in there. I, I think you need to uh, issue a statement that you uh, mistakenly got that quote wrong, but I can tell you that the, um, the letter to John Taylor is uh, the quote in there is just as strong, talking about our republic, talking about how banking establishments are as dangerous or more dangerous than standing armies, talking about how this spending and then putting it on the shoulders of posterity is illegitimate and um, wrong and in a more flattering terms, illegal. I mean, more, more flowery terms of the day he was basically saying this is illegitimate and Ill illegal. And you can take this from the actual writings of Thomas Jefferson without having to put something false in there. You know, when false information gets into your documentary, you lose credibility. So that's all I have to say right now about that, and I hope that you will uh, take this criticism as being constructive and trying to help you out. And um, seriously, whoever did the research for you on what Thomas Jefferson was talking about, fire his ass.